Hello everybody. So today we are making a sweet video, literally. I'm talking sweet heat from Daddy Dutch's barbecue. This spice is awesome. It's got tremendous flavor and some serious kick to it. So looking forward to that. We're gonna use that on our mango habanero chicken wings. And oh, they are gonna be so delicious. Alongside of that, we're also gonna make some mini tater tots with some pepper jack cheese melted on top. It's gonna be fire. Looking forward to it. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, I wanna thank you for all your support. Make sure you hit that thumbs up as well as a comment down below. I love all the comments, keep them coming. And I appreciate everybody's support. So everybody, let's get cooking. So here we go with the ingredients. We're gonna start with the bottom left with the Daddy Dutch's Sweet Heat Rub. This stuff is amazing. Cannot wait for it to come out to the stores and I will let you know once it does. Uh, and next to that, we've got some mango nectar and some habanero sauce. We're gonna make this mango habanero marinade slash sauce that we're gonna use for these wings. I cannot wait. Some salt and pepper some mini tater tots uh, again first time on the black stone with the mini tater tots as well as the mango habanero wings and with those mini tater tots we're going to top those with some pepper jack cheese and we're going to add some butter and some milk and make a nice sauce it's going to go on top of those and i cannot wait this is a first for both the mango habanero wings as well as the mini tater tots and <laughs> love it love it love it cannot wait so first step we are going to salt and pepper the wings here we go salt pepper like the rap group some sweet heat daddy dutch rub And this stuff is hot. So I did not go too crazy here, but I gave it a nice little little kick. All right. That's it. One side, turn it over. Second side, same thing. Salt, pepper, some more sweet heat. I didn't go too crazy, but I gave it a nice liberal amount, as you can see. There you go. Looks beautiful. So our wings are definitely going to have a nice little kick. And now we're going to make our little mango habanero sauce. We've got some mango nectar. And I just want to put in about half a cup. And then some habanero pepper sauce. And this is the taste. <laughs> you guys check it out for yourself. I put in about this much, which is probably about a teaspoon. And I gave it a whirl and tasted it, and it was plenty hot enough for me. So, looks perfect. I love that color. It's a beautiful color. And then for our cheese, here's a tip here. Uh, you want to do this at the end. I did this at the beginning, and it came out great when I did it. But then by the time the everything else was done the cheese kind of bind it up again so i would highly suggest waiting to the end you know you can do the prep work in advance like cutting this cheese get it cut the cheese but the actual melting process and getting the sauce ready i would wait to the end because uh that way it's nice and fresh and you have no issues but here's what it looks like when i did it so we'll just show you so you want to melt some butter um get that cheese in there get that cheese pretty much melted about 85 percent add your milk give it a little more cream there again stir it up some more you got to keep heating it every once in a while and then here's kind of what you look like it's a nice creamy pepper jack cheese that's perfect right there so again, wait till the end. <laughs> There's my tip for you. All right, so Blackstone is fired up, nice and ready to go. We're gonna add 
some oil and do not be shy remember we're cooking chicken wings here they're not deep fried we're cooking them on the blackstone but you definitely need some oil you want to get those uh, wings nice and crispy on the outside and oil does the trick so once you give it a nice coating we take our blackstone wings you want to try to put that mar uh, not the marinade the spices on there at least a half an hour before you put the wings down just to give make sure that flavor sticks nicely and there you go wings are down you love that sizzle that you want the heat pretty good uh, medium to medium high and I like to move them around a little bit when I first put them down just to make sure they don't stick um, I know I preach about the non-stick but you never know so I, I just like to loosen them up a little bit put down some more oil on top uh, these been sitting there for a minute so we're gonna put some oil on top and then once we flip them there's already oil down so look at that they look nice they've been on for about two minutes or so two to three minutes flip them over and that's what they're looking like a little close up you can see the back half is a little bit darker than the front half so no biggie flip them around and you want to move stuff over like for instance I know the left side of my grill way over to the left is, is cooler than the center so I'll move those uh, you know the ones that are more done over to the left again grill management you guys will learn griddle management sorry you guys will learn uh, your blackstone they're all different but you can see there I'm putting these uh, a little further over to the left even more I don't want them to get burnt on the outside and raw on the inside so I'd rather just cook them nice and evenly um, so that's why I kind of move them around and see I pull them a little closer to, towards the center because you know I want to get some more heat on them so it's trial and error the more you cook on these things the more you'll learn them and the easier it gets So we just keep moving them around and just like that you can see we've got our darker ones to the left and our ones that need a little more heat towards the center. So, And this is part of the fun of cooking on this thing because <laughs> you're doing stuff. You're not just sitting there waiting for a half an hour to, to mess with your, your food. It cooks really quick. So now we're going to put our miniature tater tots, mini tater tots down. This is the first time I make these. They are about half the size of regular tater tots. <laughs> and they look cool, for sure. So I kind of spread these around, kind of flatten them out a little bit, and... Again, first time cooking these, right out of the freezer. And I've never made regular tater tots on the Blackstone either, so this is a first for me completely. So I put a little butter down on top just for some flavor. Um, we're also going to add some salt and pepper here. There's the salt. Coming up next is the pepper right here. There you go, pepper. And we're going to add some oil on the top of these as well. Again, oil on the top, oil on the bottom. They're not deep fried. They're in the pan. So it's not very much oil that we're using, actually. So I uh, kind of want to get them bunched up in the middle here. And we're going to use our ghetto grill dome, <laughs> which is basically a tin foil pan with a magnetic handle that was a gift to me from my stepfather thank you Bill appreciate that it's coming in handy because uh, without that it's really hard to turn so here we go wings are looking good a little close up give them a turn so now they're cooking a little bit slower but they're getting nice and dark on the outsides and they are looking delicious 
So here we go, same thing, kind of move them around. The ones that are not quite as cooked, put them a little more towards the center, which in this case is hotter on that part of the griddle. Looking good. And just kind of keep them bunched up together. Beautiful. Alright, let's check these, uh, actually let's steam up these uh, potatoes a little bit. Get these nice and cooked up. Put a little water down. Put our ghetto grill down. <laughs> down. <laughs> a little more steam there. Looking good. So, here's a little tip uh, that I learned on this one. If I, or not if I, when I do these again, I will not use as much water. Uh, to steam these up because it seems like they kind of came apart uh, and I like them nice and crispy on the outside and you know I, I don't like them well done I kind of like them crispy on the outside and soft in the middle but since I steam these a little bit too much uh, they started coming apart a little bit you'll see that what I'm talking about here once these thaw they get a little bit delicate so you don't want too much water in them um, and I think I used a little bit too much. It's better probably just to let them sit and maybe cover them. And uh, but again, more here we go. More water for me. Live and learn. So they tasted great. Don't get me wrong. They tasted awesome. But uh, I probably would not use as much water the next go around. So we check the temp on these, and they are at 161, 162, 160. Three. These are pretty much done. Um, so we're just going to kind of flip them around a little bit and make sure they are nice and evenly browned. They're looking beautiful. And we're going to move them off to the side while we finish up these mini tater tots. So I try to keep them the bigger legs towards the middle as well check those yeah those are pretty much done as well so the wings are done so we're gonna chill these out on the side there while we get these tater tots off um, but you can see where they're falling apart like I was telling you about so a little bit messy but they're nice and crispy on the outside for sure um, and they're off so now we put the wings in the center and here's where we're going to take our mango habanero sauce and add those to the mix and just kind of give them a nice bath in those right towards the end so here we go one last mix together here's our habanero sauce mango habanero sauce looks beautiful and we're just gonna just give them nice spoonfuls right over the top. You can hear that steam coming off and that sizzle. And this is just gonna bring that flavor together. And <laughs> wow. If you could smell what I'm smelling right now, you would be amazed. That is a beautiful thing right there. That's it. They are done. You can see it kind of turning syrupy. Oh. Absolutely perfect. So let's take them off and go check them out. Here's the last close-up. Hoo-wee! Man, we've got some spicy food today and sweet. The sweet heat. Daddy Dutch's sweet heat on the wings the mango habanero wings, and we've got our tiny tater tots uh, with some jack jalapeno slash cheddar cheese. We kind of had to reconfigure a little bit there at the end there, but it is what it is. <laughs> so anyway, it looks delicious. I can't wait to dig in, but I am gonna give a little bit of a close up first before I start sweating with this heat. So here we go. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah. That looks 
good. All right, here we go. We start off with a wing. I've been, oh, man, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I like spice, but spice doesn't like me. Ooh, nice and hot. Mmm. Mmm. Man, that tastes good. Wow. I'm surprised. I'm not really a sweet guy, but you can taste the mango, and you can definitely taste the habanero, and you can definitely taste the uh, sweet heat. That is a phenomenal combination. It's not that spicy. It's actually very good. Mmm. Love it. Wow, I'm very impressed. <laughs> not with myself, with the mango habanero. I didn't think I was gonna like it, to be honest with you. I like mangoes, but I'm not that much into sweets, and, uh, but since it has some spice to it as well, Tastes absolutely delicious. All right, let's check out these tots. Let's grab a, a handful here. Bunch of cheese. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That pepper jack cheese blends right in with the other spices we got going on here taste phenomenal everybody I know not everybody has the ability to, the ability to get I know not everybody has the sweet heat which is not available in stores yet but it will be soon right Kent however the mango habanero wings are a hit I love them Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out.